Hello everyone and welcome to another spin-off lecture in the topic of STEMI and today we are speaking about an important and critical feature in the ECG of STEMI which is the top stone appearance. I think many of you have heard about this term and have seen this ECG in this practice. So our idea today is to understand the features of the tombstone appearance in STEMI and its clinical significance. Tombstone appearance, of course, is a great sign in ECG in which the ST segment peak surpasses the R wave. This means that the magnitude of ST elevation is higher than the amplitude of R wave or the whole complex itself. So it is remarkable as massive ST elevation exceeding 5 mm may even exceed 10 mm, as we can see here in this ECG strip. What does it indicate? Does it indicate? Tombstone, of course, is a terminology for the grave, and so that's why it was chosen because it indicates a high risk of mortality. Of course, it's a terrifying term, and so it should not be mentioned, of course, to the patient or his relatives. But it is just for you, it indicates a very high risk and the need to rush to the cast lab. It indicates extensive myocardial damage, and that's why the magnitude of ST elevation is very high. And as we mentioned before, the higher the magnitude of ST elevation, the more risk is the mortality or morbidity. Also, it indicates high-grade stenosis of the carpet artery. Of course, it indicates total occlusion with no anti-grade flow. It indicates higher risk of ventricular tachycardia on reperfusion, and of course, maybe the success rate is less than in other cases and greater effect, of course, on LV function with worse prognosis. So here, the detrimental effects of this myocardial damage is very high. And that's why this terminology was chosen as tombstone appearance. Let's see this ECG example here. We can see here there is extensive ST innovation, especially in V4, 5, and 6, to the degree that you may misdiagnose it as right bundle, but of course it's not right bundle because it's involving the left precordial lead. It's just R wave with extensive ST elevation. So of course, this very terrifying pattern in the ECG. We can see here as well that the patient has extensive ST elevation in the inferior leads. So Thompson appearance can be in the anterior STEMI or inferior STEMI to the degree that the ST depression in one EVL and also from V2 to V6 is massive. So here we are speaking about extensive inferior wall STEMI with extensive myocardial damage. Here we can see another terrifying and critical ECG for a patient in which the ST elevation we can see that it may be more than 20 mm. It is very, very high risk. And I think anyone who can see the ECG, even if he's not a cardiologist, he will be very terrified of this pattern and he will call the cardiologist very rapidly in order to arrange for urgent revascularization, even if the primary PCI is not available and the patient is in the window phase. For thrombolytic, we are going to impute thrombolytic if he's not in contraindicated because this patient needs urgent or emergent revascularization, although there will be very high mortality and high risk of arrhythmic death. So in this strip, we can see that the ST elevation surpasses R wave, and that's why we call it tombstone appearance. Also in this example, we can see that the ST elevation surpasses the R wave, and of course the reciprocal depression would be the same, and it would be very deep reciprocal ST depression. So we have seen many examples of tombstone appearance. So it indicates very high risk STEMI with risk of complications and mortality. And so not just go to the cath lab, nor fly to the cath lab, because this patient is very, very high risk. Of course, all STEMI patients need to go urgently to the cath lab, but when you see this example, you should not delay this patient anyway in order to have or to catch each second in saving this patient and salvaging the myocardium by primary PCI. So at the end of this short lecture, we understood the ACG features and the clinical significance of Thompson appearance. We understood why it was called or why we choose this terminology and how to diagnose it or when to call it Thompson appearance, either in the anterior STEMI or the inferior STEMI, and why we need to rush to the cath lab. And of course, don't forget that it is a terrifying diagnosis that should raise your attention that each second matters in this patient to salvage his heart. Thank you very much for your watching.